Today, I have a big announcement, folks. And that announcement is, we have a winner for the giveaway. I know you guys have been waiting on this. Everybody's commenting, when is the giveaway gonna end? When are we gonna know who the winner is? So, I've got the winner for you. Drum roll. Jaden Alexander, you are the lucky winner of this. I do use a random comment selector, so that has nothing to do with me. But go ahead and shoot me a DM through Instagram or send me an email. I'll have both of those right here and also in the description. I'll get you your information and I'll go ahead and get these sent out to you. Any of you who did not win and would like to go check these baits out, go ahead, click the link in my description. They're gonna be the very top links in the description. And I encourage you guys to go ahead and go check these out. A lot of people said they were gonna go buy them. And I think that these would be a good investment for you. They're on Amazon, they'll deliver it right to your door. So go ahead, go check these out. The Runkle Anchor Box, the jigs and the trailers. And go ahead and go catch some fall bass. Top five fall bass lures. I'm telling you all my secrets. It's happening in today's video. Don't skip through. Let's get it. All right, lure number one, buzz baits. They come in all different shapes and sizes. I'm gonna go through a couple different ones. A lot of my videos recently have featured a buzz bait actually, but here's one buzz bait you guys have not seen yet in my videos. This is actually a double plopper. This is just like a whopper plopper, except it's two other ones and it's a buzz bait on top of the water. This buzz bait actually floats. Uh, I've actually caught fish on this, haven't thrown it that much, but this is one style that I have. Right here, I have got a War Eagle buzz bait with a white trailer on there, some type of frog trailer. This is a great one for the fall because it's Time for the bass to start feeding on shad. They're pushing them back in the creeks. This white presentation is really going to imitate their shad really well. So this is definitely something I'm going to pick up. Another one, this war eagle right here. This is a black with a gold blade. Really great for muddy water and on cloudy days. It's actually a really cloudy day today. I'm about to go fishing right after this and probably throw a buzz bait. This right here is money on cloudy days and in muddy water. You cannot beat it. I do like to put trailers on these. I don't have a trailer on like this one or the other ones, but on this rod that I've been throwing, this buzz bait has gotten munched lately in my last videos. I am throwing a crawl trailer on here. So I would definitely recommend putting a trailer on there. And if you have any super glue, put a little dab of super glue up here where it touches the hook and it will not try to come off as much. So there's a little quick tip for you. Also, a lot of people may not know this, but you can actually bend your blades down on your buzz baits as well. That way your blade gets closer to this and you can actually bend it to where this will barely hit. Your blade actually hits this wire and then it'll make more commotion. These are already pretty loud as they come and some buzz baits even come with a little clacker built in. Buzz bait is really good in the fall because the bass are feeding up on shad. It's a good top water presentation. It zooms right by them and it's loud which pisses those bass off. They get angry and they just automatically want to kill it so then they'll They'll hit it and then you've got them every single time. So it's a great bait for the fall. You can cover a lot of water with it. You just start throwing and winding it in, throwing and winding it in, and you're gonna catch some big bass. Lure number two, lipless crankbaits. I've got all different kinds in here, but my favorites definitely are going to be these two taps by Strike King. This is a really good color, by the way. I think this is called Chili Crawl. And also, these Booyah One Knockers. Both of these I really like a lot. I've also got your traditional rattle traps in here. You can see these, they've been beat up a little bit. Got some other older rattle traps. But definitely these two style lipless crankbaits are gonna be my favorite. For this time of the year, what you're gonna want is you're gonna want something that's more silver. So this is actually a gold with a black back and it does have some shine to it. That would be good for this time of the year. But then also something maybe like this color, the silver with the blue back is really good. That's what I have in the rattle traps, which is a really great color for this time of the year because those shad are really shiny. And for some reason, they just really like that. The way that I'm gonna fish those lipless crankbaits is I'm just gonna throw them out there as far as I can. You should be able to get a pretty far cast. They cast very well. And then I'm gonna just sit there and I'm gonna let it fall, rip it up, let it fall and rip it up. And then also if they're not hitting it that way, you can try burning it and then stopping it, burning it a little bit more, stopping it. And if you have grass, especially, a lot of people use these, let it sink down on the grass and rip it out of the grass. But this time of the year, I just like to use it as a search bait. And those fish are usually active enough chasing those shad that whenever you throw it out there, they're going to munch it. I have also had really good 
experience just throwing it at boils. So you'll see those fish come up on top of the surface and they'll smack the surface, they'll eat something. If you actually throw your rattle trap at that and then reel it through there, a lot of times they'll hit it. I actually did really good in a tournament one time doing that. So definitely give that a try if your fish are out there schooling. Lure number three, jerk baits. All right, well, that's not supposed to be in here. That's not supposed to be in here. Anyways, this is my jerkbait box. I've got a couple different brands in here, a couple different style jerkbaits. I'm gonna show you a couple of my favorites, what I would use this time of year. We're gonna go ahead and start off. These are a couple Strike Kings. These do okay, they're not my favorite by any means, but they do okay, they're pretty loud. But this is one of my go-tos right here. These are the Rapalas. This is actually a Shadow Wrap Shad Deep, which is supposed to go, I think it's like maybe six foot deep, something like that. That's what both of these are. Both of these will be good colors. They're really, really shiny. These are really shiny jerk baits. That's how Rapala makes theirs. I don't know why, but they work good. And also, I have had some pretty good luck. Come on, come on. I've had some pretty good luck with this Lunker Hunt, actually. And this would actually work pretty good too. This is just a sexy shad pattern right here. And I think that they, I forget what they call this. But it goes to six foot. It goes to six foot. And it works really good too. Got good rattles to it. But definitely the best. I know everybody talks about them. It's going to be your Mega Bass, which we've got right here. Here's my Mega Bass right here. This is a sexy shad color. Works really good. And then also you've got your pearl with your chartreuse belly, which is a very good color. Both of these are really good jerk baits. They're suspending jerk baits, so they should stay down in the water column and you can keep it right in front of the fish's face to where they just have to eat it. It's just sitting there. The ideal time to throw these bad boys is whenever you think that the fish are out there suspended or either you wanna call fish up off the bottom. What you do with these, you're just gonna throw them out there and then you're gonna pop, pop, and then you're gonna stop. And you're just gonna figure out what your cadence is which is how many times you're gonna pop it how many time how many seconds you're gonna let it sit stuff like that and you're just gonna figure out what the fish want and you're gonna let it sit there in the middle of the water column until those fish decide they want to eat it and a lot of guys will say oh don't go over four seconds a lot of guys will wait a minute on some pauses so it's just personal preference i usually fish them pretty fast i throw it out there jerk 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 let it sit for a second and then i just start again just trying to get that reaction bite. This is what this is. This is a reaction bite with the jerk bait, but it is a great shad imitation. So go ahead and try to throw one of these. Hooks are also a great uh, plastic jerk bait. And I just fish these weightless on the hook. I catch a lot of fish on these, especially up shallow. Really good for the fall. These fish are starting to move up in the backs of the creeks. And you can throw this up shallow, skip it under bushes. You can put it under docks, wherever you want to put it. This thing is going to go there. And these fish absolutely love the white fluke. Lure number four, swim baits. I am a little bit all over the map as far as swim baits go. I throw a little bit of everything, all kinds of different brands, different jig heads, different hooks. But I'm gonna kinda go over a little bit of everything real briefly. First, I'm gonna start off with just a normal swim bait on a jig head. This is just, I think this is a Strike King jig head, quarter ounce, and this is a skinny dipper. One of my favorite swim baits of all time from Reaction Innovations, works really well. And again, we've got a skinny dipper right here, but I actually have this rigged on a weightless hook. I mean, on a weedless hook, we've got our swim bait. And this is just a belly weighted hook. You just rig it just like your normal Texas rig, tie your line right here, and then you're good to go. Another way I like to rig these swim baits up is actually on a fish head spin. As you can see here, you got your blade down here. I don't know what swim bait this is, maybe a Bass Pro Shot swim bait, something like that. But also from fish head, you've got your fish head scrounger head you can see here and this bait actually like kind of like walks like this kind of it's kind of hard to describe but the fish really love this a lot of people don't know about this bait go check it out these work really well and again i've got that uh reaction innovations swim bait on here these are actually the swim baits like i'm talking about this is the little dipper which is the size below the skinny dipper and this is some random color i don't know why i have this but some random color the white is the best color. Also, really like these Kitex. These are really great swim baits. They're a little bit more expensive than most of the other ones, but they're really good. They last for a while, it seems like, and they're just made really well. They have really great action. Fish really love these swim baits. And I'm gonna let you guys in on a little secret. 
A lot of people don't do this. I like to throw a grub in the fall and in the winter time, but that'll be a different video. But you throw these on one of the small little jig heads and reel it around, and usually you're gonna catch some fish. It might not be the biggest fish ever, but you're definitely gonna catch some fish, so go ahead and give these twirl tail grubs a try. As far as the swim baits go, it's a great bait for covering all different water columns. A lot of the times I'll burn it right under the surface. You can actually fish it kind of like a top water. You can fish it in the middle in like five foot if you want to, or you can fish it all the way on the bottom, just fishing it really slow. It's a great bait for fishing all different parts of the water column because those shad are getting chased up and down. So depending on what you're targeting, you can adjust your hook and you can adjust your weight for that on those swim baits. Lure number five, Texas rig. Okay, running a little bit short on supplies, but we're gonna make it work. Grab your bullet weight. A lot of people use tungsten. I don't use tungsten necessarily unless I'm in a tournament. So I just got lead in here. I've been fishing rivers, ponds. So I'm gonna go with the cheap stuff, which is lead. And then you're gonna grab your hook. If I can grab it, which is not helping. There we go. Then you got your hook. Uh, a lot of you may not know how to do this, but actually what you're gonna do is you're gonna put your bullet weight on first, then tie it off to your hook. Then you're gonna put whatever bait you want on there. This time of the year, it's not really gonna matter as much. You can throw a worm, you can throw a crawl, whatever you want to, but this is just to target this fish on the bottom. Most of the other baits are in the middle of the water column, but these are for those fish that are gonna be on the bottom. You can actually fish this bait deep or shallow. You can just change your weight accordingly. So that's one reason I wanted to include it in this list because it is very versatile. You can be flipping it in a foot of water for fish that have pushed up, or you can be out there in 15 foot fishing for those fish that are still transitioning. So it's a great lure for all around fall fishing. It was actually super hard for me to make this top five list because there's so many different baits that can work during this fall period of time. And that's what makes it so difficult. I wanted to include a lot of other different things, but these are my top five. I think that you guys can go catch some fish on. So go ahead and give it a try. I hope this helped. Fall can be tough if you don't know necessarily what the fish are doing. So go ahead and do your research, get these baits, go ahead, give them a try. See if you can go catch you some fall bass. I cannot thank you guys enough for all your support. Thank you so much. We are almost at 10,000 subscribers. I am getting that new GoPro whenever we hit 10K. So help me get there if you haven't already subscribed. And go ahead, leave me a like on this video if you enjoyed it. I know it's not as much action. There's no fish catches, but I hope you guys still enjoyed it. I hope it helps you guys go catch some fish because that's what I ultimately want to do with this channel. And go ahead, leave me a comment down below with any suggestions or anything you might have to say. And I'll see you guys on the next episode. Go catch some fall bass.